Hi, did you know that you will never find a worm in a tequila bottle? That's because worms are only placed in certain mezcal bottles. Mezcal is national spirit of Mexico, similar to tequila, but made with several type of agave. I'm going to use this smoked mezcal for today's cocktail called Smoky Worm. And would you look at that, it's cocktail time. I first created Smoky Worm for a summer edition of the Three Course cocktail menu called the Anon Taste. It's a combination of three thematically made craft cocktails paired with complimentary snacks. And because summer is right around the corner, that means that it's once again time for a summer fresh fruit like the watermelon. Why not use something so full of water? It's so sweet in a cocktail. We will need a blender and it will be an overnight process to make. But I'll show you all the steps, so don't worry. We will start with 200 grams of watermelon flesh. And you'll want to take out as many seeds as you have the patience for, because we'll blend this, and they turn out quite bitter. Next, we'll add 60 ml of Irish whiskey. I'm using Talamardu. The ingredient that gives this cocktail its name is a smoky mezcal. We'll add 40 ml of Perro de San Juan. The citrus we are using today is a lemon, so 30 ml of lemon juice. And to make it nice and balanced, 14 grams of sugar. Now, let's blend all of this. Use any type of a blender, just try to get everything as smooth as possible. We leave this in the fridge to settle for 12 hours and then strain it. Or, if you made the batch 12 hours ago like we did, you're ready to strain it now. A cheesecloth or a muslin fabric work best and produce the clearest drink. You might have to do this procedure twice. After you bottle it and maybe put a custom sticker on it, you can store it in the fridge for up to a month. All we have to do now is chill it. And a great way to do this is a technique called throwing the cocktail. We'll add 100 ml of the prepared drink in a small shaker tin, add ice and a strainer into a large shaker and then throw the cocktail from one shaker to the other. Make sure to practice this technique with water first, so you don't spill valuable drinks. And do this somewhere you can spill, so avoid carpets. After you throw it 4 to 5 times, it will be way colder than you expect. And it's ready to serve. We'll strain it into a chilled coupe glass. In it, we'll place a small ice cube that we soaked in soy sauce. Why soy sauce? Because it will add the umami aftertaste to the cocktail. And that will pair nicely with our complimentary snack. A watermelon and white cheese sushi. We wrapped white cheese with two thin slices of watermelon, wrapped it with nori algae and dipped it in sesame. A perfect pairing for the smoky worm. Let's pour it. My mouth is watering, so let's try it. Delicious. Freshness of the watermelon gives way to the smokiness of the mezcal. And then, that umami aftertaste of the soy sauce, it's a perfect moment for a bite of the watermelon sushi. It's crazy how much you can do with the cocktails and all of the summer flavors. I hope you enjoy your summer to the fullest and with plenty of cocktails. Thanks for watching and I'll see you back here next week. You know when. <laughs> if you made the batch 12 hour, or if you made the batch 12 hour, or if you made the batch 12 hour, let's blend. Now let's blend on. What is this? What is this? What is this? What is this?